Hello, I'm Mrs. Cullen. Welcome to my phonics lesson. The sound I'm going to look at today is this sound, and I know that a lot of you already know this sound. Let's just take a peep at our card. Eh, eh, that's the sound. When we look at the other side of the card, we can see there's a picture of a boiled egg in an egg cup with an elephant on it. And this helps us to remember how to draw the letter E. It says here, with the instructions, it says to lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Lift off the top and scoop out the E. Brilliant, right, OK. So that's today's sound. We've got to try to remember that. Before we do anything else, though, it is time for super speedy sounds. So get ready to join in with our speedy sound card trick. Off we go. Mmm. Mmm. Eh. I'm going to stop there. Well done. I think you did that really well. Give yourselves a hip, hip, hooray if you got all of those right. Hip, hip, hooray. Brilliant. Now, we're going to have a go at looking at some other words with the E eh sound in them. We're going to have a go at Fred talking them. They're green words. That means we can Fred talk them. Let's have a very quick look. So when I point to the sounds, I want you to say the sound and then see if you can hear the word. Here we go. Ready, steady, Fred talk. Ooh, eh, uh. Web, web. <clears throat> Ready, steady, Fred talk. Y, et, yet. One more. Ready, steady, Fred. R, eh, d. Red. Well done if you got those right. Absolutely brilliant. We are now going to have a go at writing the sound E. Eh. And we have to remember the instructions on the back of the card. So I've got my board here and my pen ready to go. And we need to lift off the top and scoop out the egg. I can try that again. We lift off the top and scoop out the egg. Brilliant. Did you manage to write that? Have a look at it. Does it look the same as mine? I bet it looks better than mine. I'm drawing mine back to front. Well done if you managed to do that. Before we do anything else now, we are going to look at some red words. Just a couple of red words, ones that we need to remember. The problem with red words in, they have lots of tricky sounds and actually we can't frig talk them. So that's why we have to try to do our best to remember them. I'm going to show the first one, see if you can remember this word. What's this word? The. Well done if you said the. Have a look at my next word. What's this word? You. Well done if you got those cards right. Well done if you got those words right. Before we do absolutely anything else, we're going to have a look at a couple of alien words. I know they're alien words because they've got the silly pictures of aliens next to them. So the first one we're going to have a look at, we need to have a look at the sounds, Fred talk the sounds, and then see if we can discover what this alien word is. So, ready, steady, go. G, O, E, P, G, L, E, P. Glep. I don't know what a glep is. Let's have a look at this one. Ready, steady, Fred. S, O, O, K. Slock. What's a slock? I don't know what a slock is. We'll do one more. Ready, steady, Fred. J, A, N, K. Jank. No idea, no idea what that is. Turn to somebody and say, what a load of nonsense. Because it is, absolute load of nonsense. Right, okay, now, we've had a go at writing the sound there. We 
going to write a sentence now. Let's see if you can remember how to hold a sentence. See if you can remember what we need to remember when we're writing a sentence. We need to remember to leave think spaces. When we've finished what we're saying in our sentence, we need to have a full stop. Please get your pencil and paper ready because I'm going to get you to write down this sentence in a minute, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it first. And I'm going to say the sentence today is, the hen is red. I've got a red word in that sentence. We just need to try to remember how we write the word the. I'm going to write the word the, and I'm doing it back to front. So your writing is going to be much, much neater than mine. The, there's my word the. Then I'm going to leave the finger space. Then I'm writing hen. <sighs> eh. Hmm. The hen. Now I'm writing the next word. I've got to leave another finger space here. I'm writing is. I know the sound at the beginning of is. Eh. You knew that, didn't you? Is. There we go. I've written three words now. The hen is, can you remember what colour I said it was? I said it was going to be red, didn't I? So the hen is red. Think about the sound at the beginning of the word red. R -e -d. Red. I finish my sentence. What do I need to put at the end of my sentence? Yeah. A full stop. It's just a dot. I don't need to do a big circle because it's just a dot. There we go. There is my sentence. I would like you now, please, to have a go at seeing if you can write that sentence down all by yourself. See if you can remember it. I'll give you a quick, quick reminder. The hen is red. Off you go. See if you can write that down. I wonder how you got on. Have a look at your writing. Maybe get mummies or daddies or brothers or sisters to have a check with you to see if you remembered all the words in that sentence. The hen is red. There should be four words in that sentence. You should have four words. Finger spaces between each one and a full stop at the end of it. That is my phonics lesson for today. Talking about the sound eh. Here it is again, just to remind you eh. We lift off the top and we scoop out the egg. The card at the back gives us instructions telling us how to draw it. And we've already drawn it so we can remember our instructions nice and easily. Thank you very much for joining in and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye bye for now.